Hey guys, welcome back to another drawing video. Today I wanted to do something that could be good for Thanksgiving since it's coming up pretty soon. And I love my foldable drawing, so I thought we could draw a foldable turkey in an egg. So when you see it like this, it says Happy Thanksgiving. When you open it up, you get to see the cute baby turkey inside who is got a giant head and he's really cute. So I'm gonna show you how to make this today. You would need a piece of paper and then of course your stuff to draw and color with and you will need to be able to hold your paper nicely. So if you need help, grab an adult and let's get started. All right, so the first thing we need to do is we need to fold this paper like this one is when it's closed. So I'm gonna quick put something on top of this so it stays this way. So you take your paper and while it is vertical, you're gonna fold it in half, and line the edges up nicely, crease in the fold. Then you're going to take just the one side and fold it back so that this is touching the top edge. And then I always, you don't need to, but I like to flip it over and do the same thing on the other side. So you can see the crease, but then fold it back. So this front side has the fold, and this one we just put the fold in so we can see where the line is, but um, we keep it unfolded. All right, so let's start our drawing off while our picture is folded. We're gonna draw the egg for our turkey. And I'm gonna start right here and draw a curved line. I try to have it be a little skinnier on the top, like a normal egg. It's kind of hard when our paper is this way though, so if it's more round, it's fine. On the bottom side, another curved line like that. And I just kind of make sure that they connect from one side to the next. Then you can open it up. I'm gonna open the other one up too. And I'm gonna start by drawing a zigzag line. So start right here, go straight down for just a little bit and then do a zigzag line. And when we get over here, straight line and there we go. Down here, straight line. I'll do it on both sides first this time and then a zigzag. Now what is important is everything that's meant to be like hidden, so like the break and the whole turkey, we want it to stay inside these two folds. If it goes outside those folds, then the secret will be showing when the paper's closed. All right, now we're going to draw a big kind of squished oval underneath the egg. So a little bit above the bottom of the break here, I'm just gonna draw a big, kind of squishy oval for my turkey's giant head. Ooh, this one's got a big head compared to that one. <laughs> it's a baby. And then um, kind of right above this crack, you're gonna just draw a curved line that like fits inside the egg. So the head is huge and does not fit inside the egg, but the body kind of does. So like that. Then I'm going to, on the body, draw a little curved line like this that curves one time, two times, three times, and then all the way back. The other side, same thing. One, two, three. There we go. Okay. Now I'm gonna draw some of the feathers. I'm gonna draw the two that are the closest to this top edge first. So, Big curved line and make sure it does not go above the fold. Yeah. And I try to just make them the same on both sides. So I did one, two, I'm gonna do the next one and try to match it on the other side as much as I can. Again, make sure it doesn't go below this fold because then you ruin the surprise. There we go. On the chest, let's do a few curved lines to kind of look like feathers. And then for the face, on the original, I drew a big circle for the eye, a big circle for the other eye. 
And then I did a little curved line in the bottom of each with these little lines inside. And I also like to do like these little ovals for the shines and a little circle next to it. And lastly, we're going to do the beak. So do a little letter V like that. Curve line on top. Two diagonal lines like that. And then for the little turkey gobble thing, it just kind of goes over the top like this and hangs down like that. So we have our basic stuff drawn out now. If you close this, you can see everything's hidden and then open it up and you can see your surprise. If you want to write something on the egg, I wrote happy Thanksgiving, I put a heart. What I recommend when you're coloring is actually close your paper and color in your egg first while it is closed so that you don't accidentally do something totally different on the bottom and the top. I'm gonna write happy Thanksgiving again. And in real life, a turkey's egg is brown. So I decided instead of doing a brown egg because it's a little bit boring, I'm just gonna take my um, red, orange, and yellow markers because those are kind of Thanksgiving colors and I'm gonna make circles. If you have a circle that goes into the top edge like this, make sure you color it on the bottom edge too. So the circles kind of go across both sides. So I'm gonna go in and do this. All right, so my egg is finished um, when it's closed. Now I'm gonna open it up. And what you wanna do is look at your egg, like where the colored part is touching the broken part. And if you have any circles that look like they should continue on to that broken part, color that in. And then you can just color in the rest any way that you want. All right, and I'm all finished coloring in my second turkey. So now I can close it and open it up for a surprise. This would be a great gift for Thanksgiving. Give it to someone if you want. But hopefully you guys had fun making this one. I love these folding drawings. Just take your time coloring it in any way that you want. All right, guys, I hope you had fun making your foldable turkeys with me today. I think they're so cute. They could be a great gift for somebody for Thanksgiving. Um, but yeah, just take your time on them. And if you made one, I'd love to see a picture. But I will see you guys next time for our next drawing video. Bye.